guys, it's Remini Raven here from Truth Be Told Transformations, coming at you with a Thanksgiving reading. What's coming for you this Thanksgiving? What should you be thankful for? We're about to find out. Hold on here, let me fix my camera. Holy Spirit, please place the white light protection upon me. Please the armor of God upon me. And please only allow me to change this highest, tr- vib- highest vibrational love, light beings of truth, love, and compassion only. Thank you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Protected in all five corners, as above, so below. And it is so. Okay. So, I feel like... This is going to be a Thanksgiving where some families gain some clarity and there's forgiveness, okay, with some of you. And for those of you who do not have a family to go to, I'm sorry the holidays are hard. Know that I am thinking of you. Um, I may do a free live depending on how I feel on Thanksgiving. A couple cards, we'll see. What is the energy surrounding this Thanksgiving to this collective this year? I'll get that one in a minute. If there's something unexpected may happen around Thanksgiving for some of you. So I feel like there's some anxiety in the air this Thanksgiving. Some of you have a hard time connecting with family. Okay. And there are attachments that some of them need to get rid of. Some of them could be karmic family members. Just karmic family members are a real thing. Um, we have anxiety. We have attachments. Someone needs to take their mask off. Someone is not being their true self. Angel of Balance is here to balance the scales with something. The Thinking Woman is here. The Sixth Chakra. Archangel Metatron, your third eye chakra. So there's something you're going to see before it happens. You're going to know what's going to happen. The world is here of happiness, luck, money, joy, peace, contentment, closing out. I feel like toxic cycles. Healer of the Ages is here with Ascended Master Jesus. So this is a healing time for this family dynamic, but you have to have patience, okay? We're going to break this down with the Light Seers Tarot. And see what else we get, okay? And remember, to take it resonates, leave what doesn't. This will not resonate with everyone. What can this collective expect for this sixth thing, or what do they have to be thankful for, please? Holy Spirit, guardian angels, archangels, and such as spirit guides, tries to treat and compassion. with the energy. The energy of this reading is of Nine of Pentacles, so you're ready to pick your harvest, ready to reap your rewards, okay? Why does this collective have anxiety around Thanksgiving this year? Holy Spirit. This says be strong, strong Libra energy. Be brave. Blank land, compassionate like the land. You are protected from harm, okay, with the Seven of Wands. Make sure you put up your energetic bubble. There's a judgment here. So you feel like you're judged by your family no matter what you do, how good you're doing, or what you may be doing. Uh, and you feel like they're very judgmental against you, or at least someone in the family is. What's this attachment? Is someone in, they ha- does definitely have some ad- negative attachments. And yeah. <clears throat> I feel like you can, s- this cycle starting over, and you can build a solid new foundation. Just be careful, listen to your intuition and clear your energy. This is a time of period of rest and relaxation. Okay, if you've been feeling tired lately, could be um, because someone's sending you evil. I can't sleep at night. Okay, things like that. The divine is bringing you in a huge blessing. Or actually, I just heard blessings. Okay, I feel a huge monetary blessing as well as it could be in a form of uh, spiritual gifts. Um, a business, new job, raise promotion. Okay. What's this angel of balance here about? What's this angel of balance here for? 
for Thanksgiving 2022. Empress energy, so it could be your mother, daughter, sister, um, your create, you know, be balanced. Take the blindfold off and see it for what it is. Try to look at things from a higher perspective if you have beef with someone in your family. Okay. Clarify the two of swords and the empress, please. Yeah, it's like you feel like that your family ignores you or it could be a lover or a loved one. When you try to speak to them, this could be a sister for a lot of you. This could be your mother, your mother. It could be anybody in your family, really. But I'm getting a feminine energy. What is this thinking woman about? When things could be 2022. Here's the hair font, and, uh -huh. so, <laughs> there could be a court situation, and it's a win-win situation, you are meant to be seen and heard, you are a teacher, you have guidance and a voice to deliver, and you're ascending to higher levels, so try to see things from a higher perspective, as I said earlier, be the light in someone else's storm, um, remember, Someone else's perspective, perception of you is only a mere perception of them. Loving Gemini energy. Somebody could be jealous of a loving relationship you have with someone else. Um, or there could be a choice that needs to be made. There could also be justice coming to um, you when it comes to when it comes to a lover, like an ex-lover. The justice is coming. This is a huge shift. Yeah, there's going to be a celebration. You may be celebrating this Thanksgiving. What is this? Six chakra Archangel Metatron about. Third eye chakra for Thanksgiving for this collective. Creating generational wealth. Happy home. Happy family. The best of the best. Luxury. Breaking generational curses and trauma. Coming out, out of a lack mentality. I feel like you may be teaching your family this and you're doing this for your family. You are the wounded warrior. Yeah, there is definitely a celebration coming in uh, about a king of wands. Masculine energy doesn't have to be masculine. I mean, it's brave. You've been very brave and courageous. I feel like someone um, has tried to go against you, uh, sending you know you ill wishes. Could be a cancer. This is fast forward movement in this situation. Justice is definitely coming. What is this world about? Yeah, something's coming in very fast. What is coming in very fast with the world? Thanksgiving for this collective. You got to get out of your head though, okay? It's an illusion. There's this person that was hiding things. Was trying to. Was try, may try, someone may try to come in if X and feed you a lot of bullshit. It's an illusion. Someone in your family could do that as well. You are the wounded warrior. You're at the end of a cycle here with this person, and you're about to be healed. Let's ask Master of Jesus to heal you. You don't give a fuck about this person no more. You know, you cried enough, been in your tears in your head at night. I do feel this person is trying to visit you in the astral. This person may be nervous to come in uh, and see you on the physical, or maybe they can't. You know this with your intuition and the high priestess. What is this patience about? Um, yeah, definitely could be a cancer. Got a lot of cancer on my board and Pisces energy. Um, you know, the hermit is here. So you have been hidden and secluded if you feel alone for a reason by God. Um, because you're going into a period of happiness and no one, this person was not meant to get with you and no one can take this from you. There may also be some jealous energy, uh, and that may be why people treat you the way that they do, but things are going to be balanced. They're going to get their karma for this. If they're not being kind to you when you've been nothing but kind to them. <laughs> yeah, this is a past life soulmate energy. I feel like they were supposed, this person, if this resonates with the relationship, they were supposed to be your divine counterpart, but they, you chose to grow in a sin. They chose to stay in their shadow. You balanced your energies and God, source, universe. You left the past in the past and what no longer served you and, and you stood up for what you needed, what you believed in, what you know, what you deserve, and, um, some of you are already with this person, some of you, this person's coming in, and you're waiting on your ships to sell in with this situation, as well as this justice, and it is definitely coming. Let me get some energies here. Can I have some energies about the overall energy of this, um, collective, please, and what they need to know about Thanksgiving. 
cards in the reverse will be red in the reverse, cards in the upright will be red in the upright. I'm using a love oracle, but you could take it uh, for the overall energy. It doesn't have to be just in love, okay? I feel like this person that they may, the justice is coming to a love situation or from, a, you know, with an ex-lover. I feel like, um, they are definitely a soulmate energy here. You had a soul contract. They didn't hold up the agreement, as I said before. The clock is in reverse, and it's like they want more time, but time is up is what I just heard. Like, they owe you an apology. I feel there's somebody in your family that owes you, people in your family that owe you an apology, too. Love is here with unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Some of you could be meeting someone. This uh, holiday season. You have soulmates. Yeah, it was definitely a soul contract, but I feel you're being sent someone new. This person into the contract because they treated you like you were keys on the ring or like you were just an option. They had very many options, not just you. And I feel like you were loyal. This person has very outdated thinking as well as your, this family dynamic that I'm speaking of that is judgmental. Um, they were conditioned to be this way and they keep you keep playing these events over in your head. What else, Spirit? Yeah, you t this person's mask is off. Everyone is seeing them for who they are. Remember to be your true self. So, yeah, the date is yours. You may be meeting someone new or getting back out in the dating world. You need to maybe plan and set a date, even if it's just with a friend. It doesn't have to be with a lover. Anything else for this collectively, spirit? Passion in the reverse. This person, you lost your passionate spark for them because of how they treated you and you realized I feel like it was a narcissist and path paradigm and there could be narcissists in your family as well you may be the runner in this relationship uh, but I feel like you guys have switched runner chaser phases um, in the past you would have went after them or waited on them but not anymore the coffee cup is here you may be meeting someone um, and talking to them over coffee or over a drink this is a friendship that will help you feel uplifted if you're in a depressive stagnant energy I recommend this to help you um being a better energy the butterfly is here with a there's um you're going into a neck the newer phase in a relationship with yourself and you're evolving healing your inner child and growing and i feel like a new um, a relationship with a friend may blossom into something more keep its arrows here and it's about to, if it's about to strike and you will be this person is going to want to talk to you more and more you'll wait their messages be um you're going to get a text uh, email phone call soon okay but this also this person from the past is going to try to reach out have you learned your lesson we shall see just make sure you're making the right healthy choices and, you know healthy choices aren't just about the food we eat and, um, it's also or the TV or what we consume consume meaning eat watch listen to talk to um, but it's also about self-care and taking care of yourself and knowing what is good for you and what is not okay you're going through a period of healing your heart. This person from the past and this possibly in your family too, they wear sunglasses. They gas, some of them may gaslight you. Or, um, you feel like they're always watching you, looking out at you at the corner of your eye. This person from the past definitely gaslighted and stalked you. Some of you, this is your family member that is this, or family members that treat you this way and they've stabbed you in the back more than once. They do suffer from an addiction as well as a narcissist and path paradigm, codependent energy. There's definitely a block. They were definitely trying to block, I feel like, your abundance. Maybe they act say they don't, but, you know, people can say and do different things, right? Um, the stab in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attacks. So be aware this of this Thanksgiving season, um, you know, because not everyone is for our best and highest good, okay? So I hope this reading found you well. Until we meet again, it's 14.45 on the clock. I don't know if you need to hear this or something like that.